I Fato Desterdan, the famous Canon Epoca. So when it was released, it was quite a revolutionary design, combining the qualities of uh, easy to use point and shoot cameras and the better quality of picture uh, reflex cameras. So it is a all-in-one reflex camera with non-replaceable lens. Uh, lots of autofocus sensors, it seems. Flash built in the lens cover. Together with this kind of uh, Fresnel diffuser. You cannot uh, put out of the way, it seems. You, are, you need to have it. Little display at the back. Zoom control here. Shutter here. This. Uh, I do not know what it is. Uh, it does. Uh, it is probably to cut the. Uh, yes, it does optically uh, blind the viewfinder. It is in order to avoid uh, backlight uh, entering the viewfinder, I believe, when you do uh, self uh, portrait photos or something like this. Big door here to give access to the film compartment and the battery compartment. But also smaller door if you want just to replace the battery. Uh, nice uh, grip here, as you can see, with a Canon strap. And this thing, uh, despite of being quite collectible, is only worth 5 euros on eBay. It is why I do not keep it, or I do not uh, try to sell it. Today we will instead take it apart, as what we do here. So first thing, this uh, strap, written Canon, and I did notice, it is interesting, inside it is actually written what it is made from. Nylon, 48%, P-propylene, 25, P-urethane, 16, and metal, 11%. Actually, uh, 11% for just the four uh, little buttons here of metal seems quite a lot. So I do not know why doing such a thing. Uh, for recycling purpose, maybe. Not quite unusual to see it. I believe it is the first time I did. I ever see it. Okay, I might actually keep this part for uh, just for this. Okay, then uh, taking apart the device. Uh, very rare screws everywhere. I believe I can start with the three screws here. That seem. I will try to take it apart quickly. We will see how much time I need. cover with your trigger button but here we have actually a hole in the shell so there is a hole for the button okay but there is also a larger hole for some protruding out flat flex with what seems to be a big uh, flat IC as the under some shielding and also here maybe some uh, test or programming uh, contacts. Interesting. Uh, it should mean the insides are so uh, crowded they had to do it to have a space for this IC. That's a thing I did expect. Uh, so here for the strap that 
is maybe I believe actually at the same time yes the ink for the door here and here it is it is just coming off so it is good then I have just to undo a few more screws to pop open the shell of the thing I believe we will find out so this one are uh, have a metal color to match the body of the camera but it looks like just the head of the screw is actually painted quite weird so it is all automated loading and unloading camera you just drop your film in it and it will load automatically apparently according to these uh, instructions here okay so we should be good ah, one more screw on the top okay ah, first piece uh, metal tab here that seems to be made of copper at least it is a copper color no information in the plastic about the construction date or anything or composition of the plastic and you can see immediately a huge north assembly that is externally large but the lance in the front itself is not so big interesting lot of uh, plastic inside here and uh, flapping around in the breeze uh, flash capacitor here at the bottom it is totally not secured quite interesting let me do more screws ok back cover is off here you can see already a lot of flat flex on the rigid circuits combination and this bottom piece should come off eventually to reveal ok it is coming off together with the flash door and the flash capacitor it looks like originally it was glued in place but the glue did not resist the time and is now completely loose so if I find my side cutters here I will be able to cut any extra wire so I does not been powered in years so there is no danger with this flash capacitor but if you did uh, use the camera just before taking it apart, you really need to be careful. Okay, some dust here. This piece, for some reason, remains attached to the lance. Quite a weird design. You can see the number of parts involved just in this, quite uh, impressive. So I will not take it apart completely, but I would like to show you the shutter assembly and maybe dig a little bit in this zoom lens assembly. So for this purpose, it looks like I need to separate lens assembly the lens on the uh, main part here this seems to be one solid block really uh, so I will do some undo some scores and I will be right back
Okay, it looks like I am making important progress uh, because I am actually able to separate the lens assembly here from the uh, main film holder assembly and actually this super complicated piece. This is the uh, film pressure plate. The same thing you will have in your where is it again? Uh, camera back door. So and usually your shutter is located at this spot, but here it looks like we have no shutter. So probably the shutter is actually inside the lens assembly. Nice brass. Uh, Films here. Okay, in here we just have probably the film winding motor and some electronics all around. And this piece seems uh, quite uh, insanely complicated. I will undo a few more screws that I can see. And we will see if we can have a little look inside or not because really Japanese engineers are the best yes I can see actually the little motor in here electric motor for the film some uh, spool uh, winding uh, mechanism here and apart from this it is just a big plastic piece, a big plastic frame. So not much to see in here. Some uh, ices here at the back, and this flat flex. Okay, interesting. But the main area of interest here is this lance assembly. So first. We have a piece of black plastic glued in here that is most probably to prevent dust entering inside the lens because here you can see the grooves for the uh, focus and uh, ring to uh, allow the lenses inside uh, move in the correct uh, way and this is actually a nice aluminium piece. So what to do next? I am here. So here we have probably um, contacts to uh, encode the position of the lens. And yes, it is wiping on this uh, contacts here. So it is for the feedback. So the uh, processor can know which position the lens is in. And now I have to figure out how to pull everything from this uh, outer shell. There is a wiper seal here all around. Again to prevent the dust it seems. It is not something you see every day on a lance like this. Quite uh, unexpected this actually. And it looks like, yes, there is a whole bunch of sensors inside this thing. So it is why I want to open it with you. But as you can guess, it is a little bit of work. Okay, so this is off, but it is not coming. All I believe I will need to undo the guide screws here. This one, by the way, is already completely loose. So, it old school lance designs are like this. You have uh, grooves in a particular shapes and uh, things that will uh, slide in them as here to guide the piece in the correct uh, orientation. Really 
something when you take it apart believe me it is almost impossible to reassemble correctly with no dust no on the correct alignment on everything it is just a hell to reassemble I do not know how they were even able to do it in the factory in fact ok uh, excuse me I will just throw away some of the useless plastic parts here ok this also ok so here I have two more parts to undo yes everything is loose in this lens by the way either it is loose or either it is very tight but today Murphy must be sleeping and really no problem to take it apart ok and I should be able to slide out this outer piece yes ok so very nice uh, piece of aluminium here precision machining and everything B written on it and some uh, sand actually inside it so it looks like the dust proof seal was not dust proof enough um, so what do we have here yes quite a lot of uh, contacts going inside this lens actually and as I see even a circuit board in here so uh, looks like we have uh, aperture setting and um, shutter inside together with the zoom assembly okay so this seems to be interesting we will have a look at it after for now uh, one more aluminium piece here that should be able to remove many many many, many screws really I am building a huge stock of little screws at least quite amazing ok oops just a plastic piece here with this thing and ok this is coming off also so this will probably go to the scrap metal and here you can see we have a motor we have lens moving lens like this that will be actuated uh, I do not know how in fact so it is for probably this uh, might be for your focus uh, looks like the viewfinder is actually passing through here coming here so you have your uh, what seems to be your shutter inside here can I activate it maybe not sure but you can see last is not passing through so you have your shutter probably activated by some solenoids for this uh, I need to separate the two parts uh, so I will undo any screw I can see on this side and we will see if it is leaving something or not it's a quite uh, super complicated lens assembly obviously ok it seems to be coming off This piece is off. Oh. No, it will not cooperate because of this thing here. That 
is uh, secured by uh, epoxy it seems it looks like we have a nut inside here but it is secured by epoxy so uh, quite sad I can see stuff inside here but really <coughs> I will not be able to open it today So the main area of interest here, uh, I believe we just have some uh, solenoids to actuate the crater on this motor probably to actuate this uh, piece here in some way. Quite well. So what do we have in here? Mm. It seems a lot of electronics. So first, I can see, I will zoom in for you, uh, there is, or it seems to be, plastic covers here, glued in place, maybe not, not easy to tell, so I will not do any screws, and we will find out, this one, Yes, no. Uh, this one. I would like to see the sensors, but. Okay. This plate is actually secured by a little spring here. I have no idea why I should do it. Okay, we have one sensor here. Ah, screw. Screws are always good. And one screw here also. Should come off now, maybe. Okay, uh, I was not expecting this, big clear body lead, this one because it seems we do not find any other screw but it does not want to come yet. Oh, it is annoying. Um, I must be missing one. So you know what? Side cutters time. Oops. Oh, here it is. Okay, here we are. So, uh, we can see better what we have in here. Uh, some gears, some uh, rotation uh, encoder here. Look, you can see this very small uh, silver and black uh, rotating disc. We have probably a uh, infrared sensor in front of it to give some feedback. We have here what seems to be uh, maybe the self timer LED or an infrared LED with some. Uh, I guess this tiny unit might be the auto focus sensor. Very small, clear IC. And we have more. Uh, in here in particular, that seems to be interesting, but I am not sure how to access up it like this. Okay, one more sensor here. 
just a black uh, sensing element in a clear body then in here we just have the obviously connections to the motor one wiping wiper contact here and your um, feedback infrared uh, sensor here for the mechanism okay so yes this was located like uh, this so this is uh, probably visible light led and this is your uh, infrared sensor oh i did miss this one this is your infrared led because it is behind a infrared transparent lens and it is actually a big free ships led for contacts I see a beautiful bonding wires in here so quite a nice device here to save okay so this camera was really uh, over complicated I see still lots of electronics so we will try to take it this part apart further just because it is what I do for the uh, lance assembly matching uh, these things here we did use quite a lot of glue to make this camera actually uh, I can undo what next the number of screws in this assembly is just uh, completely crazy. Uh, try to undo this one circuit board at the back, maybe. Very well secured. like you have a pressure plate you can undo here to disconnect the uh, flat flex but at the same time it seems it is soldered to something two little status leads here beside the viewfinder by the way the door of screws coming off is just amazing it was very expensive to have uh, one camera repaired when you see how complicated they were I do not believe camera repairman is still a big business nowadays never uh, okay this is coming off your little uh, display PCB just carrying the display I am trying to undo completely the electronics from here here is your main uh, film actuating motor connected here somewhere your finger 
your leads little white girls uh, lot of wires here it looks like it is just secured by the wires and glue and glue and one little shoulder pad here ok here we have something else so this will come off ok wow and something else here connected to the circuit board so some more sensor ah I know what it is it is your uh, cartridge contacts for the film cartridge quite it's reduced when do this thing ok here we are super complicated set of electronics by the way I did not even notice this small circuit board before quite crazy thing and in this we just have some uh, one more uh, rotary sensor here you can see ah, it is really you can see this little uh, I will remove this plate because it is completely missing my camera because it is shiny it is very the light and really not helpful tons of screws ok so we have here the gears for the film winding and unwinding we have here a little uh, disc with a pattern on it for uh, some kind of uh, rotary encoder can I show you it to you maybe uh, uh. it is not my day sorry uh, ok like this ah it does not uh, pick up on the camera but there are there are little uh, stripes actually and in this we have nothing left except a few more screws to retrieve I will do it later so as you can guess uh, quite a lot of parts to uh, go through uh, usually these plates are made of uh, these plates you find in cameras can be made of stainless steel so it is good to keep them this one probably is stainless steel so I am keeping them and we, I will have several kilos of them, I will sell them. Little mirror here coming out from uh, I do not know where. Little Fresnel now, so I might keep this. And uh, you're flapping around in the breeze capacitor. Ok, so uh, one camera removed from my stock at least. So, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.